Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, this is kind of an impromptu video, but I feel so excited about this. I wanted to do a video just highlighting the best products in my collection, honestly, kind of just taking from other categories, but just like the products that I love, that I use all the time, and that I don't necessarily that I use all the time but I don't necessarily always like talk about all the time on my channel. Um, I just wanted to kind of have a place, a video reference as of like right now. These are the products that I have so it's not necessarily products that I've used in the past that I know I love that are long standing favorites. Like these are the products that I have that I'm using that I swear by that I've used so much with the exception of one thing but that I like know these products forwards and backwards like I know these I love these so let's just get into it um first I'm just gonna kind of go through application um I'm not gonna spend too long on this because I've talked about this incessantly this is a NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base I tell everyone to use this. It is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used. It's translucent so it doesn't have any color to it but it makes my eyeshadow last forever. Literally I have the oiliest eyelids. I have super super hooded eyes so I get transfer. I get creasing really bad and since I started using this my eyeshadow literally stays perfect. I could wear this for probably 20 hours and my eyeshadow would maybe crease a little bit. Like this is magical. It literally is the best shit I've ever used. This was a recommendation from Ingrid Nilsson. I can't even remember how long ago and I've never stopped using it since. I've gone through so many tubes of this. This is like number one recommendation honestly this entire video now let's get on to base products again this is a cult kind of favorite a really like famous like well-loved concealer but the nars soft matte complete concealer is the best i n pretty much am never without this like there's no product that replaces this product in my collection it is the best concealer ever I gotta say, it's I use this more for spot concealing, mostly because it's expensive <laughs> and it has like beautiful coverage, beautiful longevity, and it's just perfect. It's literally perfect. I would use this all over my face, but it's an expensive guy. So I use it relatively sparingly, but this is like my go-to spot concealer, 100%. I will repurchase it as soon as I run out every time. This is a new foundation favorite, but one that I've just fallen head over heels in love with and I cannot rave about it enough. Again, this is an older product, um, but the, the, excuse me, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer with the shade 00A Porcelain. I wasn't able to use this for a long time uh, after it launched because they didn't have a shade light enough for me but w it was within a year ago that I purchased this foundation and I was shocked at how much I love it it's a little thicker so if you don't like thicker foundations I know a lot of people are into skin tint so this is definitely not that but if you don't mind it it's like a medium to full coverage foundation but it wears like an absolute dream it applies it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy even though it can feel a little thick but it looks natural and i've never had a foundation that has such a like skin like natural finish to wear like this wears it lasts through mask wearing it lasts through like sweaty days it lasts through like long like in terms of time days and it wears so nice it doesn't break up it gets a little shiny but if i blot it it goes away like i 
trust this foundation. If there's ever a day that I know I'm going to wear makeup for a really long time, I use this. It is so good and such a surprising favorite, honestly. But it's just like, honestly, probably my favorite foundation that I have right now. For powder, this is just, I have powders that I like, but I just, this is just such a good product. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. There's a reason that I always go back to this because it's, I just don't know what more I could ever want from a loose powder. It sets my face. I use this more to like bake in my T-zone, but it sets my face. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look thick. It has like a smoothing effect, so it smooths over any like large pores, and I have a fuck ton. My pores are gaping, okay? They are large and trying to be seen all the time, and this just fills them in, makes them look smooth. Again, it doesn't break up, it doesn't get gunky, um, and it's affordable. It's a large container, which is also nice. And I just don't know why I would ever stray from this or use anything more expensive. And every time I run out of this, I'm like, oh, I should probably try something else. But then I'm like, why? This is just perfection in a powder to me, truly. Now let's get into more like base, like face products. Actually, no, I'm going to do brows. This is again new and I thought I had found like all my favorite brow products. I, this was such a shock to me. The Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Mascara Gel. I bought this on a whim. I just needed a, an affordable brow gel, but I am shocked how much I love this. The color, I have the shade Soft Brown, and normally in Maybelline, the shade Soft Brown works for me for eyebrows. For whatever reason, this is much darker and much more cool tone than I'm used to. But the formula of this is so, so good. It can get a little gloopy. The brush, like the little brush on here, has like a, like a regular kind of like brush side and one that's more flat. So if you accidentally or on purpose use the more flat side, it can deposit a lot of product. But if you're careful in application with this, I swear to God, this has the hold of soap brow. If I just use this on its own, it lasts all day. It's shocking how long it lasts. Like it, and it doesn't feel crunchy, overly crunchy either. Like it, it doesn't feel too heavy in your brows, but the hold that this brow gel has is crazy. Truly, excuse my phone, but it's, it's crazy. If you're looking for a new brow gel, not even affordable or anything, just period. If you're looking for a new brow gel, this is so good. If you can find your shade in it, it's shockingly good. And I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about that before. Now getting into base products, I have one bronzer because bronzer for me is one that I've tried a lot of bronzers that like I like, they're fine, but because I'm so fair, the color usually is not quite right and I don't know, but the Fenty, again, a very popular product, Fenty Sunstalker Instant, Warm Bron Instant Warmth Bronzer, I have the shade Into Sun. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure if you've had fair skin, you've heard this, it's the best shade for fair skin ever. I swear I'm almost hitting pad on this. Um, regardless of shade though, formula, I don't know what else you could possibly want in a bronzer. Blends beautifully. It's it's not super pigmented so you can build it, but it does build, it's not too sheer. It's like just perfection. I can't even talk about it more. And like, I just, again, if I had to keep one bronzer only, it would be this 100%, no hesitation. And I wouldn't even be sad about it. Like if I had to only use one bronzer for the rest of my life, Fenty bronzer, no, no qualms, no disappointment, no hesitation at all. Um, let's do highlight now. I have a fair number of highlighters because I love highlight. A lot of these you've probably heard me talk about before because they're just like long-standing favorites, but I can't choose. So they're all going in here. Let's just talk about one that I've talked about a ton. It's probably like one of my top three favorite highlighters ever, um, but I won't spend too much time on it. The Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter. I have the shade Fair. 
again, I always say it looks like nothing in the pan, but, and even when you swatch it, it doesn't look that amazing, but the effect that it gives on the skin, it's like just glowy, but like a little bit amped up. So it looks perfect and you can do it sheer so it looks just like a glossy like cheek or you can build it up so it's like a really beautiful glowy highlight but no matter how much you build it up it never takes the like glowy aspect of this product away it always just looks like you're beautiful radiant glowing healthy without ever looking too much I feel oh, it's just so good it's so good worth the price in my opinion it's expensive but worth the price um another one that I won't open to show you because it's a little bit dry and it's falling out of the pan but the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm this is just the original how many carrots shade it's so nice you know I've gone through waves with this product where I kind of forget about it but over the past I want to say like two years I've been very faithful to it and especially over the past year I've used it a ton. It is creamy so like mine is it does have the tendency to dry out but I will buy this when this becomes no longer usable. It just gives an effect unlike anything I've ever experienced before. It makes your face look literally wet. Like literally wet. Wear this at night under dim lights and your face is just magical if you like a more subtle highlight definitely not for you <laughs> wouldn't recommend it for that but if you like a wet looking highlight the sparkle in this is next level i also love this as an eyeshadow topper even just putting it on the tops of the cheekbones is beautiful it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and honestly one of the first kind of products of its kind I want to say another one that's kind of like weird because I don't really typically love benefit but the benefit cookie highlight as much as I hate the packaging um I gotta say it's really good it's a really beautiful lip really intense highlight like if you again don't if you like a more subtle highlight this is quite bright like this gives you one tone of highlight like one note is really bright but the formula is so smooth and easy to blend and it just looks doesn't look heavy or thick on the skin and it's a really really beautiful just wet looking lovely highlight and I find that it, if you put blush over top like if you do this and then blush it really just blends into your skin and just makes you look super super glowy and I that's again in my top three probably I want to say this is a blush this is one that I've rediscovered within the past year or so but I cannot stop singing this products praises again another popular product that totally deserves the hype this is the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter I have the shade molten rose gold um I, one that I forgot about for a while just because it was an older product but I love this it's truly such a beautiful highlight and every time I use it I'm just like god Damn, my skin looks so nice. Similar to the Natasha Denona, but maybe not quite the same level. It just makes you look glowy and beautiful. It, this shade has like a bit of a silver shine to it, so it does work for me. Like honestly, this kind of looks like it could be a blush on me, but this is the one shade that I can make work. And honestly, I wear so much blush anyway that I can generally get away with a darker highlight. I wouldn't use this on like my cupid's bow necessarily, but on the other parts of my face it's fine. And I think this little guy is so great and honestly I think it still stands up to all the makeup that I've tried today. And it's the perfect warm toned pink highlight. It's so good. It's so good. And I just, all of these highlights like I just reach for on rotation constantly and I know that a product's good when I have to actively stop myself from using it and this is that highlight for me. Another one that I've talked about before, this is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in Lit. This maybe isn't quite as, 
I, it's just not the best shade for me. So if there was a shade that was lighter than this, then it would be like, again, my top three, like this Natasha Denona Benefit would be like my all time favorite highlighter formulas. But this is not quite there maybe just because it's a little deep for me. And I believe this is the lightest shade, but it's a beautiful highlighter formula. It feels so smooth and it's, so thin that you can just blend it out and it just looks glorious and sheeny and wet and glowing. This is like my summer highlighter just because it is a little bit deep. If I have any hint of a tan, I pull this out and my skin just looks glowing and gorgeous. So if you are deeper than me, they have, I, I think their deeper shade is like pretty deep that it would work for most um, deeper skin tones, but if you have any shade that's not super, any skin tone that's not super fair, you can probably find like a really good shade for you. Um, but this is really a really beautiful highlight. I love it. And then last, this is kind of, this is newer and serves a purpose that I don't really have a ton of other highlights that serve that purpose. This is the Fenty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Chill. So this is like a light blue highlight and it's it's filled a hole in my collection that I didn't even really know I had. Now I use this with any pretty much blue, green, or purple, like cool tone purple look. I love it. It's a little bit glittery, but I don't hate that at all. And it's just so glowy and beautiful. It's not quite like super natural like just glowy healthy skin because it is a blue sparkly highlight but it looks really really pretty and again like I just love this ever since I got this and I got this in sale for like $14 and I haven't been able to stop using it I think I bought this in January and I've used it non non-stop I really want more single pan highlighters from Fenty like this, although they don't really have a ton of like other highlighting shades that would work for me. But I was on the fence about this for a really long time and I'm so glad that I bought it. It's so, so good. All right, now we have blush. Blush is a large category for me. We all know how much I fucking love blush. Some may argue too much, but I, as I always like to say, there is never too much blush, okay? You can hate it, that's fine, but it will never stop me from loving it to the day I die. Okay, so um, let's just start off with my favorite blush that a lot of people say is overhyped, but I don't give a shit because it's so good. The Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Divine Blush in the shade Desert Orchid. Maybe this formula is overhyped or too expensive or whatever, but the amount that I use this blush is has justified every single dollar that I spent on it. It is so nice. It is pretty much like the closest that I could get to an everyday blush because I don't have an everyday blush on my blushes or everyday, but it's just neutral with a little bit of pink, like not pink, but like rosiness to it. So it's not just a straight up brown. It is like beautiful sunburnt color for me. Like I've been in the sun it pretty much suits any look that I do, maybe not pink, like bright, bright pink because it's a little bit more like warm and not cool toned, but I can't imagine a better blush formula. It just is effortless to use. It's buildable, but not so pigmented that you have to be careful with it. I want all the shades and I'll probably buy one again for myself for my birthday this year, but I love it. I love it so much. Um, another one, I will just breeze through this because I literally can't shut the fuck up about this product. The Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. It's a glowy, bright blush lover's dream. It's delicious. It's glowy. It's bright, but it doesn't necessarily look like you've put a highlighter all over your face what more could you ever want for summer? If you like bright blush, if you like glowy blush, get it, okay? Just get it. I rarely say get anything, get it, okay? 
it's so good it's so good it's like this is like if I had to pick like three products that were my all-time favorite out of any category that would be in those three because it's just so good okay um another blush I've talked about a lot cover FX monochromatic blush duo in pink Dahlia it's just such a beautiful blush formula honestly I mean it, the matte side blends really well the shimmery side isn't too shimmery it just looks really nice and glowy and healthy these again are super hyped and I've talked that talked about it a lot so I'm not gonna go on and on fucking expensive ridiculously expensive um, although I guess it's the same price as the Pat McGrath blush but <laughs> I can't get cover effects really at all I guess I could get it through Beauty Bay but in Canada it's difficult to um, get cover effects but I love this blush I love it so much um, two more neutral blushes that I have on heavy rotation anytime I do blue or green pretty much or just neutral um, the Burt's Bees uh, blush in toasted cinnamon I'm shocked frankly that I haven't hit pan on this blush because it's just the be most beautiful like almost bronzer neutral excuse the trucks outside oh my god basically like bronzer but a little bit more orange than a bronzer blush and I you I mean pretty much every one in every three videos I do I wear this blush I'm sure if you like look in the description box of what I use I use this constantly I love to mix this with yellow blush to make a mustard blush I love the formula of this Burt's Bees isn't doesn't have the best shade range so I don't really buy from them I bought this a while ago but I honestly might repurchase this blush if I ever run out because it's so so good but they do have a good blush range I will say they have like deeper shades of blush so if you're looking for a good like drugstore blush Burt's Bees does have really a really beautiful blush formula and then this isn't available anymore so I'm just gonna breeze through it but I do love this and use it use this all the time the ColourPop pressed powder blush this was in collaboration with Kathleen lights it's the shade lunar has it I believe and it's just a beautiful like light peachy blush and I love it I use this with green looks all of the time it's a really again just nice blush formula it's not flat flat matte it has a little bit of a sheen to it so it looks really nice and healthy on the skin I just I have this in constant rotation I use this all the time and then we have some blush palettes <laughs> I, I know like I've pretty much never talked about these before so just like I know it's gonna be a little shocking but the likely makeup blush palettes I love them <laughs> I know you've never heard me say that before but Clown blush again use it all the time it's beautiful delicious it's like my favorite blush formula ever you already know this though and the fairy blush palette isn't as beloved to me as the clown blush palette it's a little light and I have only used this once I do like these two shades as eyeshadow though but this rose quartz shade best pink blush I've ever used it's like one of my favorite blushes in my collection um, a newer blush palette to me, but I've made serious dents in this, okay, already. The Melt Monarca blush palette, I'm kind of eating my words a little bit with this because at first I was like, mm, don't really like it that much. Like, it's kind of boring. All of these four shades are like, or these three shades are too similar. And while I do think that these three shades are too similar for a palette and are too light to all have in here, I love this I oh I I do I really do I love every single shade in here the 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 formula itself doesn't wow me but the shades I love this this glowy formula is super nice and sheeny the matte formula is beautiful I love this it's like a neutral pinky blush this bright blush shade is so so nice I love this like orangey warm caramel blush it's so good 
it's expensive and not necessarily one that I would like recommend like oh yeah go and buy but if you see it on sale think about it okay think about it and then a cream blush that I have I don't have a ton of cream blush but this has been like the cream blush that I've had and used for a long time this is the can make cream cheek it's just a little guy in the shade 05 and it's just like the most beautiful coral blush it's such a beautiful bright blush shade it works beautifully over powder it works under powder it blends so nicely it's a dream to work with I love this and I I've been saying it for so long but I really do want to get more can make um, cream blushes and then lastly for cheek products the colored rain and power um, this is in the shade Proof My Loyalty, but they do have this on their website as a permanent duo. That's not like the Power Club, but they do have this product still available. But it's just not in this packaging, which is sad because this packaging is really beautiful. But anyway, um, it's a bright red blush and a beautiful, super light, like, the effect is akin to the uh, Fenty Diamond Balm. It's like a translucent, sparkly highlighter. I love this. I love a red blush. I haven't been as into it this year, but 2021, I was all about the red blush. And I just adore this product. I use it all the time. It's such a standout in my collection. I pretty much, I have this in like so many different recommendation videos. It's so, so nice. And I just love Colored Rain so much, so that is one of them. Okay, so now let's get into palettes, and you know how much I love eyeshadow, and I love my palettes, and it's difficult to choose. So I kind of just went, I, I approached this just by like instinct, grabbing what I know and what I love and what I adore and what I use a lot and what are true standouts in my like palette collection and I only have three, six, seven palettes. So these are like loved palettes and I mean if you've seen my palette collection video you know how many palettes I have. It's a little bit ridiculous but anyway. Speaking of colored braid and power, I'm sorry, this isn't available anymore, but this is the uh, Colored Rain and Power palette. You know how much I love purple, and this just gives it to me in every way that I could ever want. These two deep purple shades, I reach for all the time. This middle shade called Revenge is so pretty. It's such a beautiful, like, berry gold duochrome. I love Color Green's eyeshadow formula and I love this palette. This is just the best monochromatic purple palette I have. Let's do two melt palettes. I love all my melt palettes and I honestly reach for my melt palettes all the time on my own time. Um, melt Gemini is just, I mean, appropriate now because they relaunched it. But it's just so good. Like, I've loved this for so long. I still reach for it all the time. And, um, not my favorite shimmer formula, but it's just such a good, like, color scheme that I know and love that really has my heart. Like, caramelly, mustardy browns and grungy greens. Has a black. I love Melt's formula. It's just, like, such a standard, like, stand out well-loved palette that I just know I love and then that same with Muerte from Melt. This is such, I'm so glad that I have this, like this is one of my most prized possessions truly. Um, this is like I always say like not really but like if there was a fire and I had like a lot of time I might grab this <laughs> because I, I adore it. I reach for this all, I can't even emphasize, like at least probably hopefully, once. Hopefully you can hear me because I've tried to do this like three times and the audio has been straight fucked. But my camera cut off when I was talking about the Odin's Eye and Annette's Make Corner Giant Wolf palette, which is 
devastating because I love that palette so much. It deserves its own feature, but alas, I do not have the most technologically advanced equipment. <laughs> anyway, if you watch me, you know I love that palette. It has everything that I honestly want in a palette. Beautiful sparkly shimmers, deep matte, a matte black. I mean, need I say more? I will insert the close-ups that I have of that palette now because unfortunately I don't have like a speaking portion for it. Um, and then I will transition into Club Nebula because it also cut out the beginning part of that. I don't know where my camera cut off. I was talking about Club Nebula. Um, I love the mattes, I love the shimmers, I love the depth, I love the color story, I love how versatile it is. We all know it though. Like we all know what the fuck Club Nebula is about. Like we've been there, done that. We put it all in our all time favorite palette videos. We know it. I'm not going to rub it in for those who don't have it, okay? And then an expensive one, but one that I've honestly am surprised even myself how much I've used this since I, I got it. The Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. I use this literally all the time. This dark purple all the time. I use this sheer topper gold shade nonstop. It's so good. I love Pat McGrath's eyeshadow formula. I know a lot of people, again, say it's overhyped, but I'm a stan, okay? I've tried one palette, and I love it so, so much. Oh, speaking of, I do have to grab one more palette. How could I forget my baby Celestial Divinity? Like, this is my gateway drug to Pat McGrath. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. I use it a lot. Um, and I just love it. Like, there's no special shades in here, but I love me a good purple, and I just absolutely adore this palette. I've used it so, so much. Okay, so I was talking about the Blend Bunny uh, Surge palette. My camera cut off. If I'm in a different place, that's why. But I was just saying, this is the newest palette in my collection of these, like, this collection of palettes that I have to talk about here. Although it's not that new, I got it in January. I have done a three looks one palette video if you're interested, but number one, it's just super fun and super easy to use because of the rose, but also it's like just a rainbow palette, but something a little different. There's neons in here. There's, I don't know. It's just like a fun palette to use, but also I honestly use this most often as a companion palette for this middle row here, which I kind of expected I was going to do in the first place, but it's just such an easy formula to use. It's so, so nice, and I really, 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 really love it. And then finally, let's leave off at Love Products. I don't have a ton, but these are like my tried and true. Starting with bullet lipsticks, I have three pretty much that I use as my like go-to like nude neutral-ish lipsticks. The first one is MAC. MAC Yash. It's a matte lipstick. It's just a really nice like brownie peachy nude. I really like the MAC matte lipstick formula. I love the shade of this and I reach for it all the time. You can see it's like super well loved. Propa Beauty Finesse. Again, this is more of like a yellowy toned brown. It's super comfortable. It lasts a surprisingly long time considering it's like a satin lipstick. And I really, really love this and I use it all the time. And then Maybelline Beige Babe. This is also a matte lipstick. You can see I'm like dented this. It's like a peachy, pinky lipstick that I... I really love and obviously have used a lot. Oh my literal god. As per usual, my camera is giving me so much grief. Anyway, 
I believe I was talking about the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Raw Embrace. This is my go-to super, super nude shade. It is too nude or like too like light beige yellow for me to wear like on its own, but paired with a lip liner, this is, oh, I thought my light wasn't on. This is so nice. I love the formula of these Stay Matte lip colors from Rimmel anyway. They're really quite thin. I find them really comfortable to wear. The red one especially is super long wearing and I just use the shit out of this and I lost this for a period of time and I miss it every day. <laughs> and then another liquid lipstick type product, I've talked about these again before, um, are the Annabelle Big Show Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These aren't super matte, they're not super drying, like they're matte and finished, but they're not like an alcohol based, like liquefied, li liquid lipstick that's super, super dry. Um, these are super comfortable to wear, but they're so long wearing. They last literally all day and they make your lips look so smooth. Literally, they like cover over all of the li any lines that you may have on your lips, especially these two brighter shades. I have a pink and a red. These are so underrated. If you live in Canada, try this. The product out is so good. And then finally, gloss. I've made my, I've had a gloss journey. I used to be super against gloss. I used to absolutely detest gloss. And now we've really come around to gloss. I enjoy it. I still don't love wearing it out, out of doors. But inside, generally, I like it. And Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs still remain my number one favorite gloss formula. I'm sorry. Again, I know people say they're overrated. I really disagree. I do also disagree with the fact that people say they're not sticky. I think they're just as sticky as any other lip gloss out there. I don't think they're not sticky. Let me put it that way. But they're so shiny and so beautiful and glassy and glossy and delicious. And our recent discovery this year, but a one I just adore is the Fenty Beauty Heat Glosses. This is in the shade Fenty Glow Heat. I love it. It's so nice. It is a cream finish. It's not sparkly. It has a little bit of a plumping effect, but it's not so uncomfortable and it doesn't last super long. I love this shade. It's like, it's uh, different to the original Fenty Glow. It's a little bit more neutral, which I love. Um... It's not quite as, like, orangey, I want to say. I don't know if I've compared these before, but, yeah. So the one on the bottom is Fenty Glow Original, and then the one on the top is Fenty Glow Heat. So you can see there's a lot more, like, orange in here. This is just kind of, like, a nice mid-toned, like, light brown, slightly peachy gloss. So I definitely prefer this shade. I don't mind Fenty Glow Original, but I definitely prefer the Fenty Heat Fenty Glow version. And I, again, adore this. It's like my new favorite go-to like light brownie nudie gloss. It's so good. Oh my god. Okay. I just ended the video, but I literally almost forgot one of my favorite makeup products of all time. I cannot make a best products in my collection video without mentioning the one and only true love of my life makeup forever artist color pencil and endless cacao ever since I bought this I truly have used this probably every day I'm not joking like again if you look in any of my description boxes I use this constantly. Even if I don't use this as a full lip liner, I pretty much always use this right in the center of my lips. It is, first of all, formula perfection, okay? You couldn't want anything more in a lip liner. 
I haven't used this on my eyes, so I don't know how it works as like an eyeliner because I know like the artist color pencils are just like pencils you can use them kind of like wherever. But this endless cacao shade is just the most perfect neutral cool like not even neutral it's a cool toned like taupe it is perfection as someone who loves cool tone lips this neutralizes any lipstick that I wear so it like kind of adds that cool like neutral element to any lipstick which I love it provides beautiful definition it, Sometimes I just put this like right in the center on the top and bottom of my lip and then just blend it out so it's basically gone and then put like a lip balm or a gloss over top and it just makes my lips look more defined but not like I've put lip liner on. You know, it just makes them look naturally more defined. If I could get you to buy anything from this video, it would be this product. I don't know how this would necessarily work on deeper skin tones, but it is like pretty deep. So I think you could go um, pretty rich. This would work for pretty like rich skin tones, but I know that they do like a huge range of pencils and that they have like really beautiful deep, deep, deep browns and stuff. So unfortunately this is not necessarily going to be completely universal, but for me this is just beautiful and again this would be like one of my top three of all time makeup products along with the Fenty blush. I don't know what will be my third and don't ask me. And while we're at lip pencils I also am going to mention the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. This is just such a good everyday lip liner. I'm wearing both of these actually today. This is again kind of just my go-to like neutral brown mid-toned lip liner that pretty much works for like most brown lipsticks that I'm gonna wear and I think it's absolutely great and it's just a solid lip liner formula it's not too creamy but it's not super super hard it lasts well it's just really really nice honestly all right okay and now we can go to the outro <laughs> okay and this concludes my video today of just the best makeup products in my collection. Honestly, full stop period, that's what this video is. I really narrowed it down. I really, really just wanted them, these all to be products that I've loved for a long time, I know, and that truly stand out um, to me as just like solid makeup products that I just absolutely adore and kind of serves as another like reference point um, on my channel just to like touch base, give a little bit of recommendations and just be like these are my fucking best. These are the, these are the true homies right here. Okay, <laughs> that's my sign to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I always appreciate it. I upload three, sometimes four videos a week. If you were interested in staying around and joining me <laughs> some more, I know what could possibly be more exciting than that. Um, and I would love to see you in my next video. Bye.